Start with Jasmine. Uh, one of your favor, you know, one of my favor, of course. Uh, very bullish on Jasmine, you know, long term. At least a couple months out, you know, I'm very bullish on Jasmine. And the reason I'm bullish, you know, it's not a secret. Uh, it's not something that you guys, you know, don't already know. It's not something that I haven't already talked about. You know, it's simply because, you know, if you zoom out and you look at the monthly, uh, Jasmine's monthly time frame looks very bullish. Uh, the weekly looks, you know, very bullish as well. So when you have your monthly, and I, listen, I mean, I've said this time and time again, and I'm going to repeat the same thing, guys, because there is no new information and you don't need any new information, all right? Just do the same thing over and over and over again, all right? Listen, if something looks bullish, you have to stay with it. So whenever you have your monthly and your weekly in an uptrend, you know, you take advantage of lower time. So that pullback we had on the daily, you know, that was a great buy opportunity. Uh, the pullback we had on the four hour, you know, that was a great buy opportunity. Uh, the pullback on the one hour, the 15 minutes, you know, you want to make sure that you take advantage of it because eventually, you know, the pullback is going to come to an end. It is a short-term pullback. It is not a long-term pullback. So, you know, I'm looking at Jasmine right now. Uh, it looks like, you know, the pullback has come to an end or, you know, very close to an end. And uh, listen, I think you got a 200% move coming, you know, going from the lows of the pullback. Uh, we can talk about that. Uh, we can talk about targets. Uh, but let, let, listen, let me just go over you know, why I think we have a 200% a, a pullback, uh, excuse me, a 200% rally coming and why I think this pullback is, you know, most definitely coming to an end. So if you look at the full hour, uh, we have, you know, for the first time, basically since, you know, since this lower high right here, uh, we have a, you know, clear higher high and higher lows. All right. Very simple, guys. Uh, we want to keep it simple and straightforward. So to me, this is, you know, something that's very interesting. Uh, this is one of the reasons uh, you should be, you know, very bullish on Jasmine right now. Uh, listen, I don't see, I don't see how this is not bullish. All right. I do not see how this is not bullish. Uh, but of course, you know, certain levels have to be protected. So we have a support right here, you know, around 01988. And, uh, you know, we have these lows right here. If Jasmine was to pull back, if Jasmine was to pull back, all right, and take out these lows, you know, forget about the bullish outlook in the short term. Uh, we're back in this downtrend. Uh, but right now, you know, because we're not doing any of that, you know, we have to be very optimistic. So to me, this pullback is actually very important. All right. If you look at, you know, moving average, uh, Jasmine is already trading above moving average. Uh, we are putting in, you know, higher highs and higher lows. And listen, I think this rally right here, you know, if it breaks above these highs, to me, you know, that's the last confirmation that yes, you know, this was the bottom of this pullback. All right. And, you know, this is basically the beginning of, you know, a 200% move. Uh, if we go to the one hour time, you know, you see the same setup right here, guys. I mean, look, very healthy pullback, uh, higher highs and higher lows. Uh, first time, guys, first time since the beginning of this pullback. So this is very, you know, this is very important right here. All right. Listen, I think you should be a buyer right here. Uh, if you're not. Listen, if, you, if you're not buying this, uh, I think you are going to miss out. Uh, once this consolidation is over, you know, I see Jasmine going up uh, and breaking above, you know, these highs right here. So, I mean, that alone is about maybe like a 20, uh, a 10 percent move. Right. If we break these highs, uh, that's about a 10 percent move. So, yeah, listen, looking really good. So th then the question now is. You know, why am I predicting, uh, maybe not predicting, but why do I see a 200% rally, you know, going from the lows of this pullback? Well, and it's actually simple. So if you look at the weekly, you know, our next weekly target is, you know, basically five cents. 
So if you go from the lows of the pullback all the way up to five cents, you know, that's over a 200% rally. So this is where that 200%, you know, rally is coming from. So, you know, if you look at my YouTube and you look at some of my, you know, thumbnails, uh, if you go right here, so if you look at my thumbnail right here, uh, right here on YouTube, you know, listen, I'm talking about a 200% rally. All right. This is not, this is not clickbait guys. Like there's a reason, you know, I'm putting a 200% rally. It's not because, you know, I want you guys to click and, you know, watch the video, you know, it's simply because that's exactly what I see in the chart. All right. That is exactly what I see. If this pullback is over on the weekly time, I think we are going to break above the previous highs. All right. So this level right here, uh, we are going to break that and we are going to push up to five cents. Listen, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, if you don't like it, you know, I just, listen, I can't help you. Um, when I look at the chart, I mean, that's exactly what I see. Now, this is not going to be a move, you know, that's going to play out overnight. All right. This is going to take some time because we're looking at the weekly time frame. All right. This is going to take a couple of weeks or maybe two months. But I see, you know, a big 200% rally, you know, if the pullback is, is over. So, yeah, listen, Jasmine looks very bullish. Uh, it's not just Jasmine. Dogecoin is another one. Uh, I was looking at Dogecoin, you know, earlier today, and I do like what I see. So let me just, you know, show it to you guys. Uh, this is Dogecoin right here, guys. It is up 12 cents. Let me show you why I'm excited about Dogecoin and why I think, you know, the pullback of Dogecoin is, you know, also over. All right. So if you look at this four hour, uh, let me just get rid of you know, a lot of this noise. Uh, if you look at the four hour right here, guys, you know, for the first time since uh, basically this pullback, we now have, you know, higher highs and higher lows. Not only that, you know, price of Dogecoin is back above. Uh, moving average. Uh, we also have a you know golden cross right here. Twenty one moving average has broke above the fifty, uh, which is very bullish. Uh, let me show to you, you know, the last time we had a golden cross. All right. So if I get rid of the price of Dogecoin, you know, last time we had a golden cross was back here, guys. Uh, right here we had a golden cross. Now sometimes you know this golden cross can be a fake out. You know, just like any other indicator. Uh, there is no perfect indicator, so you always have to, you know, make sure you don't, you know, rely on, you know, just the golden cross. You know, you can, you know, you take the golden cross, you mix it with, you know, support and resistance, or you mix it with higher highs and higher lows. Uh, but the last time we had a golden cross, you know, we had a big rally, all right, from, you know, whatever this was around a cents, you know, all the way up to. Uh, until we got a death cross was around 16 cents. And that was more than a 100% rally. So if I bring back the price of Dogecoin, you know, I think this is, you know, something to be excited about. Uh, you have a golden cross and then you also have, you know, higher lows, right? And higher highs, higher highs because we broke above this previous high. So this is, you know, one of the most you know, good looking charts out there. This is actually more bullish than Jasmine. So if you look at Dogecoin's four hour setup, it's more in its, you know, advanced stage. So if you go back to Jasmine, uh, let me bring back Jasmine for a minute. And I bring Jasmine's four hour chart. You know, it doesn't look as good as Dogecoin because Dogecoin has already broken above its highs. Uh, but anyways, if we go back to Dogecoin, uh, right here, uh, I think we got a big move, you know, going all the way up to retest these highs right here. Now, this is the lower time frame, of course. So I'm looking at 18 cents, 19 cents, and, you know, eventually 20 cents. But this is not, you know, the most exciting targets. Uh, I think if, listen, if you really want to be excited, uh, you got to zoom out a little bit more. So listen, big resistance right here on the weekly. Uh, in this 20 cents range, big, big resistance right here. Uh, listen, if we get a weekly close, you know, above 20 cents, 
Now, I think that is a very big confirmation uh, that Dogecoin is going to around, you know, 30 to 35 cents. So this is my target. I'm looking at this entire range right here. So going from today's price of 17 cents to 30, uh, to 30 cents, yeah, you're looking at about maybe like an 80% rally. Yeah, you're looking at a 70% rally, 65, 70% rally, guys. That is a very big move right there. Uh, what I, listen, yeah, I, listen, Dogecoin is definitely a buy right now, like literally right now. Uh, you're not going to get to 30 overnight. You got to have to be patient, but give it some time. All right, just, just give it a couple more weeks. I think you see Dogecoin, you know, somewhere around... Uh, uh, somewhere around 30 cents now this is something that i also want you to know uh the invalidation will be if dogecoin takes out 12 cents listen if we lose 12 cents forget about 30 cents if we lose 12 cents you know dogecoin is not going to be looking good and uh yeah, you run the risk of a big drop you know, back to around, I mean, 10 cents is going to be your first target. And then you have nine cents and then you have, yeah, I mean, anywhere from nine all the way up to 10, you know, that will be your target. Uh, that's a, that will be a big drop, you know, going from 17 cents uh, all the way up to, you know, 10 cents, you're looking at a 40% drop. Uh, going down to nine, you're looking at a 45% drop. Uh, going down to around eight, you're looking at a 50% drop. Uh, do I think we, let's say, do, I, do I think we're coming back right here? Yeah, I don't think so. I do not think so. So yeah, listen, Dogecoin looks great. Uh, I think a great buy right now. Uh, I mean, look at the pullback right here. We came straight into the 50 moving average, big bounce. And uh, yeah, it looks like the pullback is over.